Greetings, you two potatoes and two tomatoes. Ah, getting in the old Harold here. It's a special day here in the middle of the woods. That's why we're doing a special mail call from dear old Harold. So, let's move right along. This is a man that we all know and love. This is Professor Dougie Poo. Moss Lack. Doug's electronic repair bench. Whee! So this will go up on the wall. My family. And uh, thank you very much, Mr. Doug Poo. He's a sweet guy. And, uh, you know, he'll get to this Buick here directly. But right now, he's playing with his electronic stuff, which is what he, he loves it worse than I love turning bolts and wrenches. Uh... Boy, I can't wait to get my honey pie in here and stroll her through the traffic and stuff. Maybe go to a restaurant or a drive-in and uh, fog the windows up. Of course, if I fog any windows up anymore, I'll probably have to have oxygen. Uh, uh, okay, I've been measuring on this stuff and I've got to take my... Uh, Where's that other man? I got the other one on the bench. My seal plates, I got to take them to a shear because I don't want to just take a grinder and shorten the, uh, the lip where the, the weather stripping goes. And uh, I want to do it right and not make... Well, I've got all sorts of cool new stuff. I'm finding all the stuff I bought for this uh, two years ago. And uh, hang on to your socks whenever I rebuild this thing. This will be fun. Don't send me one because I know I love you and you'll send me all sorts of stuff and you already have. Uh, but I want the challenge of fixing that and making one. I did a, a little bit of one on the Spitfire and then I coated it with some uh, resin. And that worked out really good because it's still flexible. But you can't bust it with a hammer. So, uh, oh, I'll show y'all if I can get out. I'll show y'all what I've done today. On with the big block news. Just click shut, just like a better than the Cadillac. Okay, the big block news is I called a feller and he said he could send it off and get it line board. Ha 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 ha. And I knocked the pistons out of it. Of course, the rod caps are gone, too. When the guy took us apart, he left the rod caps loose. I guess they're hanging with a main bearing cap somewhere. It's been 30 years ago. Uh, the camshaft, I wanted to take it out and see what it was. Let me get something for my fingers. Here, let me get this nice, clean, nasty, dirty rag. In case somebody wants to dig up the grind. Uh, there, there's the grind. It looks kind of custom made but anyway it's not a not a thing uh, anyway that's the cam in it when I bought this engine I get $500 for it and it had some GT heads and some weird manifolds and uh, it had two turbochargers and a whole bunch of snaky exhaust I mean curly cued exhaust. It, and I guess it was built for two turbos. And then it was stuck in the Falcons, what the story I got. So it's got some kind of steel cylinders with the O ring thingy here and but I went to honing the junk out of these things and they honed out pretty good. I didn't try much just to knock the junk off of them. But this here is what's got it killed. Look at there. That is, you can hang, listen to that doll. You can hang your finger on it. It's dead. It's dead for me. Of course, it's a standard bore. I could have it bored out and then buy pistons. Another $500 or six. But uh, here's what's got it doing it. When I used to mechanic, I would lo I love to find out what happened. It was like a, uh, 
like a guy trying to find out who shot who. The clip left this. And it eased out, but it didn't ease out enough to get into the block, thank the Lord. I've seen them do that. I know you have too. But the, the keeper snuck out there. And the keeper did bad. It stayed in the cylinder and it eat up. It made its mark, by golly. A little keeper. You'd think a little keeper like that wouldn't mess up. Now see, that's got a knot in it too, right there. Or something's come asunder. Now, I would be surprised if this wasn't the same cylinder that, that spun the rod on the rod bearing. I don't know. This is the rod bearing in it. And it doesn't look too darn spinny-fied. And the weird thing about it is they're standard. So, at one time this was one heck of an engine for a 800 pound chunk of iron or 600, I don't know what they weigh. When you get them on your toe, they're about a million. But I jerked the pistons out of it and all the pistons look like this. You know, there's nasty on top, but they they sure didn't run along till it come asundered. And all the rod cap, all the rods are marked, of course, correct. I checked them when I pulled them out. That don't mean nothing. So, uh, this has went to Memphis on me. And uh, that's not good. It's got, the, the, it's got an A here, which means some kind of a thing. You can look it up or not. The A means something special. But special or not, there it sits. I'm going to grease it back down and put, every, and put everything in a box. And I'm going to call Craigslist. Come get it. See if I can get my $500 back out of it. It ought to be worth that in weight. And, uh, you know, you can fix this engine pretty good. But uh, in the meantime, uh, I'm not engining. I'm heralding. Oh, Harold. Yep, how I love you, how I love you. Get my stuff done here. There's some marvelous body work. I did. It had a huge dent right here. That was bent down in the crease here, of course, where you couldn't get in it from below. So I did some stuff to it and got it knocked out. And everything else is there. Okay. That's the good. The good being Professor Moss like, oh, in the military, the electronic boys, we always called them tube thumpers. Because they would run in there whenever we had something going on. They'd run in there and first thing they'd do is take all the covers off the electronic whatever it was and they'd thump them tubes and sometimes they would light up or do start humming or whatever the tubes do and uh, then they would you know collect their pay and go back to their bivouac but or tube thumpers they're not tubes anymore I don't reckon but knowing the military it's, they went backwards That's, I don't know if you can hear this but that poor dog, I didn't let her come out with me. She's having a fit. Boy, won't this be an interesting video. What's that cut worm doing? Oh, he's showing me how a dog can howl. Oh, how exciting is that? Well, not really. Just an idiot. That was me. Trying to get something out of her. Okay, that's it. That's all you get today. Thank the Lord. Oh, there she goes. Um, I never know when you can see me, when you can't, because this view thingy is, is uh, messed up. I love y'all. And uh, y'all pray for the Peak family. And uh, I'm going to pray for all yuns too. 
and uh, y'all stay in the summertime because I've got all the windows I've had the windows open for a week day and night it's hot it's hot okay bye bye